I'm Joe Pearson with the Open Retail Reference Architecture, and I'm here to give you some background information about enabling future-proof and open edge application management, specifically in the context of retail. Um, this background information is meant to accompany a demo, which is also available here in the booth. And Henry Lau from HP and myself, Joe Pearson from IBM, will be here in the booth to answer any questions you may have about Aura. Uh, Aura is an interesting uh, combination brought to you by several different LF Edge projects, which I'll talk about in a minute. So specifically, what I wanted to do is um, talk to you about the, the reason why you're here, uh, which is the promise of edge computing. Um, you know that local analytics reduces the expense of sending all the data to the cloud to be processed. You already know that. You clearly see that by processing data closer to where the data is generated, you can increase your response time to insights derived from that data. But it may not be clear how using an open edge computing framework comprised of several LF edge projects can help you achieve those goals more efficiently and let you focus on your expertise and developing solutions for your specific use cases. So the Open Retail Reference Architecture, or Aura, is here to show you how this is possible and can be used today. So Aura, the Open Retail Reference Architecture, gives you a, a set of components that use and implement open and common standards. So for example, um, SDO gives you device onboarding and provisioning. Open Horizon gives you application deployment and lifecycle management. And EdgeX Foundry uh, helps you handle IoT device connections and provide sensor fusion. In addition, we rely on a lot of other popular uh, and open solutions for things. So for example, uh, Open Horizon relies on Vault for managing secrets and SDO for onboarding. EdgeX Foundry relies on eKuiper as a rules engine, and many of these rely on application container engines like Docker and Podman, and provide container orchestration through Kubernetes, like MicroKates, K3S, K8S, Minikube, and OpenShift, as an example. Um, second, they provide capabilities that are guaranteed to work together, but yet still perfectly capable of functioning by themselves. Um, so, for example, each of the logical components within Aura Platform Services are standalone open source projects, and each can be downloaded, configured, and run separately to solve specific issues, and yet Aura brings them all together and demonstrates how they can be easily integrated. Uh, we also provide a unified set of platform services so that you can build and deliver application solutions on top of it without worrying about the fundamental code needed underneath to run all of them. So for example, you can use your existing cloud native and edge native application tooling to develop containerized applications, continue building, packaging, and testing using your existing solutions and pipelines, and then use Aura to create and publish policies, definitions, and configuration that will describe your applications data and machine learning, and how they all connect together. And the fourth point there, it's very important that when you build on top of a foundation, that foundation is built with stable and mature components that are supported out in the open by communities, as these particular projects are. And these are communities where you yourself can have a voice. Uh, for example, EdgeX Foundry and Open Horizon have both existed for over five years already, so they're very well established. And the last point, it's important that you can see exactly what is going on when you deploy applications and that you can control them without needing to control each application individually or each destination endpoint individually. So. Let me talk briefly about the retail challenges that you have and the struggles that you have that Aura is specifically designed to solve. Uh, first point, typically you need truck rolls whenever you need to deploy and configure technology. That means putting in a new piece of computer hardware, whether that's a router, an access point, a terminal, a device, and so on. 
What Aura is designed to do is to reduce that. In other words, you may need someone to install the equipment, but that person will no longer necessarily need to be trained on the software solutions that run on top of that equipment, uh, thereby making it much simpler to actually install the equipment and you know, bringing it down to simply a matter of uh, putting the hardware exactly where it needs to go and connecting it to the power. Uh, second point there, we want to reduce the possibility that you will have to send a technician on site um, to worry about your software, whether that's troubleshooting problems with the software, reconfiguring it, or upgrading it. All of that should be able to be accomplished remotely and by very few individuals. Aura actually allows you to do that. And last, providing a single foundation for both your existing needs today and for future needs, which you may or may not be able to anticipate. So for example, uh, you may have uh, point of sale terminal software, uh, sensors, like is a car going through the drive-through of a quick serve restaurant, digital signage, uh, visual recognition applications running on cameras, inventory management, reporting, all of this can be done within the context of containerized services. And by doing that, we also reduce the need for you to have to rely on a single vendor if you would like not to. Uh, second of all, the advantage of using this foundation is that your solutions can scale with the infrastructure itself. And by that, I mean the only thing that prevents you from scaling these solutions bigger and bigger is the amount of available compute power and resources that compute power has. Uh, third point there, by using containerized software, we eliminate the need to specifically rely on a particular piece of hardware or a particular microarchitecture or so on. We abstract all of that away. And last point, um, by containerizing these services and if you follow common standards, key point there, that allows you to just swap out individual solutions, provided the inter interfaces remain stable. So in a nutshell, what I showed you today was how Aura can future-proof uh, applications in the context of retail. Now I'd encourage you to talk to the uh, various booth attendants who are there to answer your questions and to view some of the other videos, including the demos. Thank you very much for listening.